Are you having trouble finding the origins of Japanese sushi, narazushi, fermented sushi? If so, you're in the right place. I'm going to guide you through the stinky art of ancient Japanese sushi making. Coming up. Hello, I'm Christopher Siodum, your guide to your big trip to Japan. And if you're new here, subscribe now and click the bell so that you don't miss anything with a taste like blue cheese and a very stinky strong smell. Narezushi is the most primitive and early form of sushi. Dating back to the 10th century Japan, this fermented fish form of sushi was preserved in salt and raw rice, which eventually evolved into nigiri, sliced seafood over rice. Narezushi can be traced back much further to much of Southeast Asia during the second century CE. It's believed to have made its way to Japan in the early 8th century, but there was no written evidence of narizushi until the 10th century. For generations, it's been considered a family-style fish, with each family passing its own recipe from generation to generation. Just north of Kyoto, in the Lake Biwa area, Japan's largest lake, narizushi was a staple in the diet and a primary source of protein. Before refrigeration, people relied on salt and rice to preserve and ferment the fish, usually storing it in large barrels in hopes of making it last for as long as possible. Narizushi is typically made with ayu, yellowtail, or mackerel, but in the Lake Biwa area, funazushi is made from the nigoro buno fish. Most families prepare it with their own family recipe, but all the methods are quite similar. The fish is first gutted and preserved in salt for a few months, then combined with raw rice and left alone to ferment. As long as it's kept at room temperature and dark storage, the fish can keep for months, years, and sometimes decades. For centuries, the age-old tradition was to remove the stinky rice and only consume the fermented fish. However, in the 1500s, people started consuming half-fermented fish and rice together, which later evolved into modern-day sushi. At first glance, nare sushi has no resemblance to modern-day sushi. It's typically sold as a whole fish in a gooey yogurt-like sauce. Sushi chefs will slice the fish into paper-thin layers and present them in a pattern over a bed of rice. The chefs will also sometimes present the nare sushi in a porridge with hot tea called ochazuke rice or fry the fish like tempura. But because of the nare sushi sewage-like aroma and super sour taste, it's a slam dunk to make or break the dinner. But for narezushi connoisseurs, the stinkier the better. Because of fermentation, narezushi that is 100 years old can still be eaten, although by that time it will primarily be liquid. The older the narezushi is, the rarer and more expensive it is, with spices skyrocketing in the hundreds of dollars US, although most narezushi is only fermented for about a year. Question of the day, what's your favorite kind of sushi? Post your responses in the comment section below. Find great restaurants in Japan with TripAdvisor and the links in the description below. Watch another great video about planning a trip to Japan here or in the description below. Watch another awesome video from Big Trip to Japan here. Now is the time to be something greater.